Hey, Dread, I'm just finishing up a couple things, so just give me two seconds. Okay, I'm thinking we're just about ready. Let's get the game capture up. Come on now. Oh, ignore that. Come on, game capture. What's going on here? There we go. the avatars they're gone there we go <clears throat> welcome back to tavern talk dread i don't know if you were here for the first time uh i streamed this so you might be missing some context but it's okay 
excuse me. <clears throat> Gotta get into the right headspace. You know, of uh, serving alcohol. Alright. Uh, let's go to he No, that's the wrong overlay. That's the overlay we're going with today. There. It's not a bad one. Let's get these. Let's get you guys off my face. Put you. Uh, put you here. Just down there is good. There's nothing really uh, being hidden uh, by this corner in the game, so I figured I'd have a nice little backdrop, like I'm. I'm your bartender. Anyway, uh, where was I? <clears throat> Uh, I was playing a little bit on my own. I didn't really go anywhere. Um, I just felt like I kind of wanted to continue playing it, but you know. Oh no, this is not roleplay between me and my friends. No, it is not. I wish it was. That would be that'd be cool. I've been trying to get them to do stream D and D for a while, but uh, Eric's not good enough for stream D&D. &D. He likes to say slurs. <laughs> Which we need to cut out. Um, so yeah. But, that doesn't mean I won't get a group together at some point to do D&D. &D. Yeah, cringe, honestly. Oh, who's this elf lady? Uh, Alright, let's give, let's give her a voice, I guess. Let's give her a voice. Um... Hang on, let me calibrate my camera, because for some reason, my mouth is weird. Alright. Um. <clears throat> hey, and keep. Hey, Chrissy, long time no see. So true. Uh, I've been pretty busy this hatching season, old lady. Yeah, well, you know, she that's true, she is an elf. A lot to do? Yeah, the birds seem to be in a slight uproar. Uh, like something, like something's amiss. I just can't figure out what. Oh, they, they, they changed the cursor. Ooh, it used to be just a basic cursor. All right. Animals often have a sixth sense, you know. They do indeed. 107-year-old smoker. Yeah, okay, hang on. <clears throat> Anyways, hand over a drink, will ya? Yeah, of course. What'll it be this time? Something for the wits again? You know me well. Too well, I guess. That's the curse of being irregular. Eventually you'll have, uh, you'll have all figured out. Eventually you, eventually I'll have you all figured out. There we go. Hmm. I hate to disappoint you, but you're wrong today. Am I now? <laughs> yes, I'm quite confident in the, the capabilities of my mind and wits. Of course. So, what I'll need instead is something to protect me from weather, uh, from weather or foe. Oh, thank you. So I'm steeled for any situation. Ah, that makes sense. I'll see what I can do. All right, let's do some do some mixing. Let me. I don't remember the recipes. She needs to be steeled. Uh, so. Yeah, this one, right? This is... Yeah, there we go. All right. Bloop, 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 bloop. One, two, three. And just one of these. What? There we go. And one of these. I got to put on my silent mode. Give me one moment. Focus mode. Personal focus mode. Alright. Okay, sorry about that. Alright. Your drink is ready. <clears throat> Liquid steel. Just a bit more digestible. This is exactly what I need for my trip. Did I forget to add something for... Hmm. 
Ooh, I think she wanted that. Welp. Uh, where are you headed anyways? Oh, to the island of Boreas. I want to reconnect. Hey, Star, how's it going? I want to reconnect with some friends at the annual Borean convention, art convention. Ah, isn't uh, Boreas difficult to reach? Not exactly a place for uh, known for its population. All right, well, sounds good. Thanks for saying hi. Is it liquid steel, just molten metal? Yeah, you know, you're not wrong, actually. The convention is especially uh, for creatures like sylvan spirits, trolls, and the like. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for the pets. All right, have a have a good uh, whatever you're up to. Uh, they'll also be electing the scariest monster for the next issue of Screech Mag Azine. Sounds exciting. It'll be a sight to behold for sure. Uh, but do you know what I'm most excited about? Gnomes. Gnomes. You've met a gnome on Boreas? Ah, uh, they're pretty shy, but they craft cute little trinkets. Always wanted to have one for my tavern. If I run into a gnome, I'll buy a trinket for you. Uh, now that we know what... I'd be ex now that we know what I'd be excited for. How about you? Uh, what do you think is the most attractive fantasy race? Well, I mean, canonically, it's elves. But personally, uh, I think I am more akin to slime women. <laughs> or uh, I mean, like a nice, nice succubus. With the horns, I kind of like horns in general. Uh, the geysers and hot springs, especially around this time of year, when the mornings are still a bit chilly. And the sun tickles the sky over the horizon. That sounds lovely. I'm sure those things will be nice muses, too. Bet. I've seen the gif. Mm, I'm not sure I know what gif you mean. Bro, 170-year-old elf says bet to me right now? Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. Bet. I'm bringing you an extra set of paints this time so I don't run out again. I mean... I mean, Fable taught me how to... Uh, Make some from flowers and berries, but Borean flora is unsustainable for things like that. Unsuitable for things like that. That's what I said. Seems like you're well prepared. I oh, <coughs> sorry, I was making fun of you. My bad. Seems like you're well prepared. Either way. Absolutely. Uh, how are the birds doing apart from being in distress? Well, the cinnamon green cheeked uh, conures. Uh, growing up to be a lovely bunch. Okay. Can't wait to release them back into the wild once they're strong enough. With your care, they'll be ready in a heartbeat. Uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing you're taking Ruby and Merlin along uh, to the convention? Of course. As for the others, I obviously can't take them with me. Let me get that a little... A little closer so I can get some better tracking. But I asked Fable to look after everyone. In exchange, I'll teach them how to grow zucchini. Oh. Speaking of which, I wanted to leave my keys under the doormat. Uh, sorry for the short stay, but I gotta hurry or else I'll miss my boat. It's quite a walk to that treehouse. And I don't want to have to comp... I don't want... I don't want to have to compensate me for that. And you don't. Man, words are hard today. I wouldn't mind. But I also don't uh, want you to be late for your convention. Well, so long and keep... See you soon. Bye-bye. What people think the most scary D&D &D creature is? 
What do people think the most scary D&D creature is, Dread? Oh, hey, Fable. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Fable. I reckon the bag of holding monster. Oh, that would, that's a good one, actually. You're just in there and then you die. Uh, I was asking what I thought. Oh. Uh. That's a good question. Um. Scariest. Hmm. Mimics can be terrifying. So, they don't stop growing. So, you could have an entire town made of mimics and you wouldn't know the buildings could be mimics you walk walk into this entire town everything seems deserted but like you're like wow where is everybody let's let's check inside no let that not do no no <laughs> you, but if you walk inside to the building and you're dead mimics do not stop growing they grow to fit their environment they start tiny like like one of, like a little bottle or a little, little like tiny chest or a little like whatever right, and they grow to big size chests. I'm still inside, and then they grow to bigger chests, and they can be entire rooms, and then they can be buildings, and they don't stop growing. It's terrifying. Anyway, good evil fable. Uh, good evening, fable. I was just uh, d uh, talking to the voices about mimics. Uh, did you have a good day? I did. I visited Mr. Dragon and the other werewolves. Character concept. A hand that's a mimic. I have one already. I've got I've got a pre-made character D and like a pre-made D and D character where he is actually just a suit of armor that is a mimic. And he uses like mimic weapons and stuff like that. Everything he he just is a mimic. Uh, told me about Carolyn's quest and uh, and the Wyvern Chimera. Oh, so you heard about that? She told me before she left, in case she. She told me some things to pass on to Mister Dragon that I can't repeat here. I think she's happy he's back. I think so too. Uh, did you have tea with the werewolves? Of course. We had a grand time together. I mentioned how fun, uh, how much fun I had with the moon signs. I didn't get, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't unlock her. All right, weird. Uh, some dragon message right there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, I uh, definitely don't have Senshi pre-made as a DD &D character either <laughs> honestly humans are the best uh D, &D race just, uh just like reality <laughs> look they're really good but uh they lose that uh like edge when it comes to being in the dark so no dark vision oof but they get an extra feet i think they get two now uh like two extra feet uh, so they taught me more about the stars and their hidden meanings. <laughs> I raise you, flamethrower, you know? Good point. Which stars? Both sets. They specialize in uh, Cassiopeia. You know, the night, uh, night sky constellations on the astral plane and all? But they have one astrologer who knows a lot about their reflections in the pools of the primordial sea. And she promised to teach me about that too. I can't wait to learn about how the sea mirrors, uh, echoes, and distorts the constellations. That's how she pitched it. That's how she pitched it. Exciting, right? Very. That's what I thought. So I, well, what is it, Fable? I may or may not have finished the little uh, finished that little gift I was talking about yesterday, or rather that Carolyn was talking about. You know, the little keepsake. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Oh, God. For humans, yeah, dude. The stars only exist for one reason. For, for humanity to rule. Yeah. I mean, we're going to rule there, too. I mean, the humans will. <clears throat> for I am but a tiefling. Um, you know, the little keepsake from my time with the werewolves. Yeah, I recall. A reminder of my very first successful quest. I just didn't know if, if you... I like trinkets. Oh! What is it? It's a piece of embroidery uh, of a constellation. Ah. The werewolves taught me how to do it. While the astrologer told us stories and myths about uh, the stars and their twin reflections. And bits and bobs, yeah. I, I love trinkets. It's all about my trinkets. Bits and bobs. Uh, I imagine it might be... Uh, I imagine it might be a constellation from a faraway realm. I call it the Little Dipper. Oh, yeah. I, I think I've heard of that. It does look a little bit like a dipper. Using a lot of imagination. Who knows? Maybe there's a world out there with this exact configure... <laughs> Configuration of stars in the night sky? There might be. Maybe the Little Dipper is part of a larger constellation. A bear, for example. A bear? Inkeep, I think you might be the one day, uh, dreaming something up now. Alright, chill out. Stop being so mad at me, bro. Most likely. Are you fond of the stars surrounding us? I do like to watch them from time to time. Oh, really? Do you prefer the stars uh, of the astral or the primordial sea? Ooh. I think the astral. Really? That's surprising. Then again... You do help people change, just like Cassiopeia. You'll have to give me your birth data soon, so I can calculate your birth chart. If, if that's okay with you, of course. It is. I'll write it down. I'll write it all down for you. That's great. Thank you. I think you may be a double jackdaw, are you? We'll see. We will. Until then. Care for a drink to wind down? Or something more zesty, perhaps? A drink, please. Uh, I think I figured out how to make my own zest. Happy to hear that, Fable. But drinks? Not sure how to make those just yet, especially those with the right balance. I'll still have to make the rounds uh, around the grove later. So could you make me something that will keep me awake and agile? Uh, do you think you know me well enough to guess what I might need? I'm already on it. Thank you. One moment. Alright. <laughs> hey, sisters. A little, bit of, a little bit of swift strike. There we go. A little bit of knowledge. Waves hands zestily. <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at this zest. Ooh. And bing. A lot of zest. Here you go. Here. Thank you. This is delicious. You always know what I need. I think you may also need a break. Maybe stay a while before heading back? That sounds like a good idea. I'll just idle here for a bit if that's okay. Always. Do you think crack and meth are technically, uh, be like haste? I... Mm, I guess. 
Cause what? It just what? It, haste just makes you move quicker, right? Find me. Um, what does haste do? Yeah, I'm looking it up right now. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, speed is doubled. Gains plus two AC and has advantage on decks. You might be right, actually. I think that yeah, that makes sense. Just you're high as shit. Enjoy your rest, Fable. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> the vampire's back. Oh, why that's so realistic. <laughs> Greetings, Inkeep. Why is that so close? Yeah, honestly. Greetings, Kyle. Greetings, green creature. Yeah, his name, you you didn't hear it uh, last time. Uh, his full name is Alphonse Louis Frédéric Duquette Dussong. And then this dwarf was like, his name's Kyle. And uh, he's like, oh yeah, Kyle. And he's just okay with it. Because he's a little slow. Greetings, green creature. Greetings, Mr. Vampire. He's French. Yeah. Oh, how polite. Are you enjoying your drink? I am, thank you. It hurts. Ah. Uh, why? <laughs> it's okay. I don't make him speak French. However. <laughs> then I shall leave you to... Oh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Then I shall leave you to its inspiring aftertaste. Inkeep, say, do you have, do you move your, did you move your inn by any chance? It took me hours to find it. Ah, uh, my ears. <laughs> uh, I did not. Are you sure? I believe new alleyways may have formed themselves around your establishment. With winding paths and dark corners? <laughs> it doesn't work, Dread. I see it pop up in chat before it happens. <laughs> I gotta fix it. I gotta get one that doesn't do that. <laughs> uh, anything could be hiding within them. Like a vampire? No, silly snack. I don't need to hide. Except during games of hide and seek. I'm very good at those. Maybe the inn wanted to play around with you. Mayhaps, but it underestimated my skill. As a three-time hide and seek world champion, I would never lose to such a youngling of an inn. It's not that young. The wood isn't even rotting yet. Silly snack, yeah. No, he's a vampire. He's been calling me snack this whole time. <laughs> and innkeep. Uh, the wood isn't even rotting yet, dear innkeep. It still has many eons ahead of it. I like the sound of that. As a celeb... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I tend to make fun of people. At least the inn hates him as much as me. Yeah, the inn was like, oh, I don't want to find that guy. Uh, as a celebration... Uh, of a match well won. May I offer you a drink? Yes, I think that would be well deserved. Has that delicious blood of yours made it into the menu yet? Not yet. Shame. Then I shall have some of that faux blood again, uh, please. It does make my bones feel more sturdy. Coming right up. Alright, so the faux blood is just the red drink. Yeah, the southern brawler. Silver nitrate and garlic cocktail. <laughs> Come on. There we go. And one of these. Silver 
some flow, some faux blood, excuse me, some faux blood for your bones. Enjoy. Ah, this is perfect, Inkeep. Why is your music so intense now? The only thing that could make me happier <laughs> would be a <laughs> Jesus would be a drink lovingly titled the Innkeeper's Vein. Keep dreaming, Count Dracula. Speaking of dreams, how is the retrieval of my cape coming along? <laughs> Just give me, <laughs> yeah. Straw too. Yeah, dude, that's yeah, that's exactly what I'm giving him. Swimmingly. Well, actually, I think there's very little water involved. I wouldn't be so sure. My dear Evelyn has a beautiful pond filled with long tooth spine guppies in her courtyard. It's her pride and joy. Well, uh, I would hope no one is swimming in that. But I have uh, sent someone on your quest. I'm sure he'll return soon, uh, and your cape, and you and your cape will be reunited. Marvelous. Speaking of inseparable, uh, yeah, inseparable items. Where's Rhea? Oh, she's taking the day off. She demanded vacation time, so I said she could choose any day, and she chose today. I was going to also take the day off and spend her vaca and spend her vacation with her. But when I wanted to follow her to the market, my sleeve caught on fire, and my hand, and my hair. Uh, strontium ninety isn't an actual isn't a natural element, really. Interesting. So I was forced to stay back due to my allergies, but it's in everyone's bones. Wait, if it's in everyone's bones, how is it not natural? Like that, like we technically occur naturally in the environment, right? The weeping amaryllis pollen is very bad this time of year. And the sun, the sun is also bad for vampires. It is? Yes. Right. I need sunscreen. It's in the works. Uh, did you... <clears throat> did you get to see the market later? Uh, it only started appearing after some bombs were tested. Oh, I see. Well, that's no good. I did. It was beautiful, colorful, and full of music that would make everyone's heart dance. But I couldn't find Rhea anywhere, so I felt a little lonely. It's made from nukes. Yeah. Yep, that that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Luckily I met <laughs> And it's in our bones. Yeah, it's made from nukes and it's in our bones. Yeah, we're fucked. Honestly. There is we are just irradiated. We're mutated. The nukes mutated us. Uh, luckily, I managed to make a new friend in no time. Very tall and brooding, just how I like them. I inquired if I could uh, try on his dark armor of swirling shadow and onyx bone. Uh, also, a Nuka Cola Quantum. Yes. Yep, it is a Nuka Cola Quantum. Um, but he said if I tried to take it from him, he would turn me to ash. What a jokester. Uh, dark armor of swirling shadow and onyx bone? Yes, a true connoisseur of fashion. He's just visiting, he said. Had some time, uh, had some great crepe recommendations. Plum crepes with ash sprinkles? Yes, they tasted deliciously dead. I see. Strangers come to town. He likes plum, plum crepes and spooky armor. Okay. I hope you enjoyed your evening together. We did. Though, I feel like he asked something of me. I promised I would remember. Perhaps he wanted my cape? Many people want my cape. Perhaps. But I would, n I would have never agreed to that. It is my cape, after all. 
Maybe he wanted my Pascal recipe? Uh, bro, the elf girl looks so done. Yeah, she is like, can this guy get away from me, honestly? Is it good? Very much so. Uh, then I'd like it as well. Oh, yes, you. Me. He asked me about you. Me? Yes. Said he's an old friend of yours. He was very curious about how your inn is doing. I sang your praises, of course, so he asked me to deliver you greetings. And congratulations on the well run establishment on the the well run establishment. How did he phrase it? Deliver my congratulations on the faux piece of your precious innkeep has found his house of denial. Hmm. Hmm. Very poetic, if you ask me. Very. If only I could remember his name. Does my description of him ring any bells for you? I'm an alcoholic, yet it seems real. I might have broken the matrix. <laughs> hey, welcome. No, I'm afraid not. Too bad. He must have been an old childhood friend. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Maybe you went to school together? I heard many friendships are formed in such halls. Maybe. Don't, uh, do you want to tell me more about your time at the market? Most certainly. I found the loveliest trinkets. Like a little stuffed bear with a tiny raincoat and an elder, uh, and a crescent elder moon necklace. <laughs> those are some, those are some emotes, definitely, guys. I found a gorgeous sun charm as well. I bought it for Rhea as a welcome back from vacation gift. Ah, that's very sweet. <laughs> your friend brought a delightful raven figurine with, uh, bought a, your friend bought a delightful raven figurine with eyes of starlight. Please don't call him that. We should never deny our friends, even if we don't remember them. I don't remember any of my friends. Alas, I still love them, even if their memory lives on only in my heart. Anyhow, he said it was a gift to himself to celebrate the dawning of the month of the astral moon. Oh, I love Cassiopeia so dearly. So is she... Uh, she is the most beautiful month, is she not? A haven of starlight reflected in the primordial sea below. You guys are just going with the emotes. <laughs> Only once a year is, uh, is she this close to us and only then for a short uh, and only then for a short period of time. Pompacla. <laughs> To me, she is the harbinger of yearning, and of change. I wonder how sh how we'll change this month. I hope to be more capeful and sunscreened by the end of it. Maybe even less alone. What about you? I like I like the way I am, but I wouldn't say no to stocking up on more ingredients. Ah, the refusal to change is dangerous, innkeeper. Change almost, uh, change always comes to those who deny it most. By the end of the astral moon, we shall no longer be who we once were. That sounds like a threat. By no means. Maybe it promises mourning. But maybe celebration also, could it not? 
For example, my dear Rhea hated vampires when she met me, and now she likes me. True change can occur before the stars change, it seems. You are hard to dislike. Oh, well, how sweet of you. Uh, as sweet as my blood, I have a lot of it. I would hope you do. Nani? <laughs> and it runs warm when people are kind to me. <laughs> no, he does not. Uh, in all my millennia, kindness has always made me the happiest. Hold up, let him cook. <laughs> There's nothing greater than friendship, don't you agree? Yeah, no, he's. I like him. He's. He is French, though. Other than that, dread. He's very likable. He's stupid, and that's it. He's very stupid, so you gotta like him. <laughs> Lovely copium, <laughs> and nothing more fragile. That makes all. That makes it all the more precious. That reminds me, I forgot a crucial part of the message. Our dear friend Stranger told me that he would like to see you again. He said... Yeah, he's French. Kyle's real name... Yeah, I'm mad. <laughs> Kyle's real name is uh, Alphonse Louis Frédéric de Quête de Son. <laughs> poutine de la Croissant. Uh, that's not how you spell poutine. <laughs> My ears! <laughs> It burned. What was it? Don't think too hard about it. Ah. Pardon your French. The letter? A polite man. A polite young man gave me a letter to deliver to you. What a sweet gesture. Please no more. I shall pass it on to you forthwith. Thanks. Are you not going to open it? I don't think it's the right time for a letter. Not enough moonlight. But wouldn't it be kind of romantic? Longingly dwelling in the memories of a friend? Oh, I see. I see, I see. Pretend is a different type of word. I got you. It's a doctor with lots of disrespect. <laughs> right. A baguette instead of a thermometer. Hmm. I, I see. Maybe. It would go so well with the fireworks. What fireworks? I have no clue. He said he hopes you'll enjoy them. Fireworks? Doesn't that sound lovely? I hope they aren't part of a, a private event. I think it would be diff. Uh, I think that would be difficult to do with fireworks. I don't mean to interrupt, but what is it, little fawn? That does sound like a threat, and uh, there's shit going on outside. Look outside, I think the fireworks have started. <laughs> Just open wide and say, ah. <laughs> oh, how beautiful, they're falling from the sky. Oh, the city's on fire. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not good. The city is on fire. She's <laughs> long down a person's throat. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Hello, little fireworks. Sparkle on! Those aren't fireworks. They're stars. Town, the town definitely looked like it was on fire, right? Picking up the pieces, yeah, I'm gonna say it was, definitely. Because there was definitely shit exploding. Yeah, like a bunch of shit exploding here. Glad the inn wasn't severely damaged by the falling stars. Though it did take me nearly a whole day to finish all those little repairs. The building might look a little battered, but it could be worse. 
French eggs, and you, your temperature seems uh, quite a bit odd. Like the fact that you aren't French and we dislike that very much because we are an arrogant bunch. Yeah, good point. Solid point. Hopefully none of my customers got hurt yesterday. It's not much, but I should surprise them with a new drink on the menu. Ooh, the sunny breeze. What's the sunny breeze? Delicious sunny breeze gives us that sick riz. Wasn't there already a riz? Yeah, there's already a riz, but now there's a riz and speed and knowledge. <clears throat> that way, whoever comes in can at least get a small taste of normalcy. I think that sounds like a good plan. I despise the French because of the, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. You can say that. Uh, I despise the French because of the blood from my father's, uh, blood of my father's that flow through me. Next French person I see, I'm going to hit with my car. All right. <laughs> Turn them into a meat crayon. Okay. Who are you? You brought a turtle into my bar. Oh, you, you will smile. Rural Britannia. Hell yeah, dude. Jade. Didn't think you'd show up again after last time. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> no hard feelings. Remind me again who started that whole brawl? Uh, no clue, actually. Must have slipped my mind. Would a drink help you remember? <laughs> the lady's hot as well. <laughs> oh, the turtle's got its nose pierced. Yeah, dude. You know it's naughty. <laughs> she, she a baddie. <laughs> She's a snake, dude, it seems like. Like me. Ooh. Hell yeah. Thanks. I'd wink, but I can't, so I can... Blink, but turn my head. If I wanted to chat about it, maybe. <clears throat> but you know how much the remnants of the past bore me. Oh, he meant... Yeah, you're right. Sorry. How ambitious of me. Give me your number already. <laughs> Let's focus on the present. Let's. What was her voice? I didn't come all this way to revel in old times after all. Although, I brought you something I knew you'd find useful, just in case you did remember who started the brawl. <laughs> you, you ain't got a giatosaurus like me, learn your place. <laughs> Horistic tendencies. <laughs> oh, this is interesting, let me see. Uh, it's some thunder sage found on, found on one of my jobs, but... Didn't have any use for it. Just try not, don't try to boil tea out of its leaves. Tastes dreadful, numbs your tongue. Ooh. Uh, you seem like speaking of, uh, speaking from, you seem like, you seem to be speaking from experience. Your tavern seems to be getting on in years. Seems like nothing can escape the grip of time. When you hit it from the back, it's probably going to sound like the U.S. Texas, Texas firing every gun on deck. Jesus. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it was still open. Is it that bad? Eh, I guess some would say age adds character. What is this music? It's, it's, it's banging. Uh, and what would you say? I'd say you've gotten old. <laughs> nice. Is that your phone number? <laughs> Ouch. Ah, oh, don't take it too personally. You still got some. Uh, you still got some. You still got some of your old. Your old. Oh, okay, there we go. Spark. Ish. Hook, line, sinker, boy. <laughs> it all works every time. 
That's at least something. Not the brightest flame, but funky enough. Thank you. Now, I'd actually like to try one of your fiery drinks. What can I serve you? Something that'll quicken my reflexes. Gotcha. No, this is my, oh yeah, great. This, this is my actual number. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Something that's going to make her fast. Reflexes and whatnot. I didn't draw it. Can I please draw it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on. All right. Here, you take this. Because apparently I must restart. Okay. This is the new leaves, right? What do the new leaves do? Give me, uh, mm, I see. Okay. All right. So we don't want that. Um, we need some of this and some of that. Not actual sparks, but uh, perhaps something sparkling. Now that's what you call a drink. Uh, maybe you haven't gotten on. Uh, maybe you haven't gotten on in years so much after all. What car do you drive? Because I'm a bougie passenger princess. <laughs> uh, dates. I just surprised him and dragged him into my tickle mobile. Well, he answered the question. He's got the tickle mobile. Well, some things never wither. <laughs> uh, what are you doing in Zenith these days? Keeping up to date, checking out the latest town gossip after my most recent gig. Your most recent gig? Finished up a job in Salia Plains. A sandworm kept terrorizing my group of seal wool merchants at the edge of the plains. I'm afraid I'm very fond of those creatures. They just... I myself am very fond of those creatures. They just mind their own business, but sometimes, hey, they gotta eat. But you know how it is. Something's gotta pay the bills after all. So I took the gig. It was a cushy job, though. I still managed to get the sand beneath... Uh, though I still managed to get sand between my teeth. gonna get you don't worry i'll tickle the shit out of you oh no <laughs> what is going on <laughs> luckily uh yeah you want a gopro <laughs> luckily it was only a sandworm and not one of those mimics that pretended to be part of the local fauna and snap gone you are anyway see see dread mimics are terrifying Uh, anyway, I also heard uh, about some unrest in Zoford from one of the local merchants and decided to go have a look. Tickle Champion, three years running. <laughs> you, you ain't gotta be so tough. <laughs> Give me a taste of my pocket sand. <laughs> Zoford, the seaport? Yeah. Always considered it a rather calm area. It was, still is, sometimes at least. Initially, I thought the unrest was related to the local thieves' guild. So I went there to deal with some bandits, look at their most wanted list, and cash out. There was no real challenge, though, so I didn't pick up anything. Other than a few hushed whispers at the marketplace, that is. Something about some arch archmage uh, familiar that... Archmage is familiar that went missing or whatever. Perhaps a job for you? Slight, uh, there is slight unrest and so forth. Rumor and Archmage is looking for the familiar who went missing recently. I'd win. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a welfare association. Put your guillotine, <laughs> the guillotine choke and tickle your belly. Not the guillotine, that's French! <laughs> Uh, 
like, what do you care about? Missing familiars if no one's gonna, uh, like, what do I care about missing familiars if no one's gonna pay me, you know? Yeah, of course. It was way more interesting in here, uh, I was may way more interested in hearing more about the undead on the other side of the country that my colleagues were mumbling about. So I came here, and naturally, I couldn't resist coming up, uh, coming by to see how you were holding up. Uh, honestly, not too good. I'd ask if you wanted to talk, but I think I already know the answer. Correct. Sure, whatever you say. I hit you with the, the hard talk. And you ain't gonna know what happens next. Uh... So you know anything about those undead? Not really. I've been a bit occupied cleaning up this mess. The tavern was just a tad affected by some recent incidents. What do you mean? The shooting stars? Oh, hello. Shooting stars? It's much more serious than that. <laughs> Rear naked choke with the good old chalk starfish detailing. Alright. <laughs> Innkeeper, I'd like a drink, please. Perhaps something to boost my defenses. I'll have to be equipped for every possible situation. After this morning, after this kind of morning, I would absolutely go skibbity toilet, rizzing Ohio, riz Ohio, riz Ohio, riz on you, please. Dread, please. Uh, coming right up. <laughs> Do a grip, though. What does she want? Something about defense? One of these. Hey, one of these. Oh, yo, it's too much. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Here you go. Please enjoy. Like dragon scales, sturdy, strong, flawless. I'm glad I could impress. You have no idea how much this catastrophe has affected the poor citizens of Zenith. And my day off. I can only imagine what scars it must have left on the rest of the country. Uh, what do you think? I'm two-time... What do you think? I'm two-time world champion heavy sphincter lifting. I can give something with defense. Oh, God. I mean... If some star rain managed to affect not only the tavern, but the whole city, it must have been pretty bad. Speaking of which, I'd be happy to help you fix this place up. If the money's right, of course. Eh, no thank you. I'm closing up early today and tomorrow to take care of things. Alright, Chief. The offer stands. What? You don't really believe it was just shooting stars, do you? What else would it have been? I'll absolutely destroy you. Ishi Highway. <laughs> Have you not seen the damage? Last time I checked, shooting stars with flaming comets traveling through the firmament of Cassiopeia. Your pickle will be tickled. No! Anybody around me, <laughs> around here, got me a cigarette? <laughs> Sometimes they crash on Gaia. Rarely, but it happens. Nothing would worry about nothing i would worry about so i thought that was just like a forward slash i was like all right typo there but no it's uh, nothing i would worry about just an average genesis for me preferably newport cassiopeia help me what do you know something i don't perhaps oh do enlighten me please well, it seems like you're not very aware who you're talking to. Nope. My name is, uh, El Elithia Anwar. I'm dev I'm a devoted, I'm a do- <coughs> Jesus, I need a drink, hang on. <coughs> I'm 
I'm a devotee of the great dragon Cassiopeia. Bringer of change and lady of the gilded set. I fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. Bring justice to those who would bring doom. Uh, this wonderful thing you can smoke called it. <laughs> what, is, what did you just fucking... <laughs> mm-hmm. It increases your AC by two. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Gives you haste. You also get advantage on uh, dexterity saving throws, I think it was. And I am very aware of when something is wrong with the firmament. Cool. Pleasure to meet you, uh, Aletheia. Now, trust me when I tell you, this was more than just your average asteroid shower. I'm bad at trusting strangers, but go ahead. I believe something way worse happened. What? I think, no, I know the stars fell from the sky. Literally. Usually, I reside in the Aperture. Uh, it's a temple in the far northeast de uh, dedication to Cassiopeia. Dedicated to Cassiopeia. But for my niece's birthday, I decided to take a few days off and visit her to take her to the carnival on the outskirts of Zenith. Zenith. Oh, dude, that's what my uncle smokes. <laughs> he likes the meth covered, meth flavored cig. Uh, he's all jumpy and fast when he smokes it. <laughs> we were going, uh, we were just on our way back when suddenly. Right above us, the sky was ablaze with millions of stars raining down on Gaia. I'm very attuned to the realm of Cassiopeia and harbor of all luminaries, luminaries uh, of the firmament. Talk about that. Anyone got some meth? Uh, I don't, unfortunately. Wait, what drinks? Do oh, well, I mean, I guess I could make you this. It makes you fast. <laughs> Just an ast just say astral realm. That wouldn't do the place justice. Uh, but what would you know? Okay, calm down, dude. It's a vast and yet and it's vast and yet so full of beauty. It's an ocean with a glistening surface, home to creatures beyond our comprehension. <clears throat> it's th that's uh, it's the theological term for it. Anyways, I noticed something was off the moment it happened. Perhaps even a tad beforehand. Room unlock. Something about a starfall. Dude, I got so many, like, parts of quests. Uh, you should have it with glass of di <laughs> dihydrogen dioxide. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, I like using my melatonin chloroform gummies. Not the di not the dihydrogen dioxide, dude. Not not the wah wah wee wah. Like the feeling of impending doom when all the hairs on your neck stand up and you know there's a creature lurking somewhere in the shadows. Exactly. Which is why, Endkeep, I came here right after fulfilling my duties this morning. Uh, that's why Billy Cosby used his pickup lines. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> so many were hurt. It's a, ma it's a matter close to my heart, figuring out what happened. After inquiring with those uh, affected, many referred to you and your tavern. Billy, he was a family friend, uh, but his story would always make me tired. <laughs> if anyone... <laughs> If, if anyone had any intel, it'd be you, they said. They did? Yes. Creature in the shadows? Yeah. Is P. Diddy in this game? Uh, maybe. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I imagine uh, I know even less than you do. 
I was hoping to find some clues at least to help me start with my investigation. Oh my God, the diddler himself. <laughs> well, he could uh, he could ask around for you, I'm sure. PC diddler, such a big fan. Would you do that? Yeah, I can certainly try. Good. In the meantime, I shall do what is best. What I do best, it doesn't need. And perhaps find out more about this disaster. Why? What? Why are you so nonchalant about all this? Oh, man, I met him when I was 13. Oh, God. <laughs> Things like this happen all the time, and people like you fix them. Thus, not my problem. People like me are the reason people like you can continue living like that. I didn't ask for any help. <laughs> Since that day I never walked the same No, no. There will be a t there will be a time when you do ask for help and then you'll be happy there are people like me. Sure. Bef before I forget, innkeeper. Yeah, Lithia? Uh, I will help you fix up your tavern, free of charge. Uh, not necessary, but thanks for the offer. Well, if you don't need my help, I know many around that do. Well, I got them both, okay. She's a bounty hunter, yep. Chaotic good, um, okay. Uh, she's a cleric. Okay. Uh, so I'll be going. Maybe we'll know. Maybe we'll know more about all this when I return. Got any evils? Um, let's see. Lawful neutral, chaotic neutral, neutral good, chaotic good, chaotic good. No, I guess not. Not yet, at least. Yeah, not yet. <clears throat> How dramatic! Uh, is it normal for divine devotees to act like that in times of crisis? Not sure I'd call this a crisis. Oh, I think he was he was asking me, uh, Ghost, he was asking me if I had any evil, like, characters. See, because they're all of, like, alignments. So they're all some kind of good or neutral. Sure, if it's uh, if it's like she said, and the literal stars fell from the literal sky, then yeah, that's odd. But then again, I'm sure Cassiopeia would have stopped it from happening if she wanted to. Are you religious? Nope. But I do. But I don't deny the the dragon's existence. Which means I'm more than confident in saying that if they wanted to be worshipped, they should work for it. That's a solid point. Unlock some stuff about her. Basically saying she, yeah, not religious. All right, cool. <clears throat> uh, we all work for something. I work to get paid. You work to get paid. And they just get paid without working? I wouldn't say they aren't working. Uh, I'm kind of a big celebrity, yo. Oh my god, is that Dr. Disrespect? I might even be Epstein flight log. No, no. Uh, then what exactly are they doing in a crisis like this? Uh, they're taking care of the grand scheme of things. What did I just walk into? <laughs> Wishful thinking. Always pleased to meet young fan. No, no. Bad. Bad. Stop it. I'll put you in jail. You, you get up here on the dartboard. Bad. You stay up here. I 
like your vibe. Oh, hello. Oh, you got cat fingies? Hey, yo. No. Hey, oh. Uh, greetings, adventurer. You can't put me in jail twice. Oh, I beg to differ. Who, me? <laughs> really? Me. Man said nothing wrong. <laughs> This shit is so cursed. Yeah. Uh, you're the one who entered my tavern, no? Or you're the only one. Yeah, but what... Uh, but in what way do I look like... But in what way do I look like an adventurer? That's just a standard greeting. Uh, budget couldn't cover anymore, I suppose. Lead fingies, yeah. Mm, sausage fingies. <laughs> Hey, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> I have a wide variety of greetings. Mm-hmm. If that makes you feel better. Uh, hit me and keep. Give me something from your repertoire of greetings. Hey, yo, bro. How <laughs> opposite. Greetings, traveler. Should I just, <laughs> just greetings traveler him again? <laughs> <laughs> really, my homeboy. He only killed forty people <laughs> in hit and runs. He did nothing wrong. Hit and runs, yeah. <laughs> they were in the way. Yeah, that's each one was like ten points. So he got like four hundred points, dude. Not including the combos. Uh, all right, let's go with uh, Ao, bro. All right, your voice is—you are not getting that voice anymore. <clears throat> uh, Quinch fail. Didn't you greet me like that? It's different when I do it. Yeah, the whole demeanor revolves around cringe. Uh, it wasn't a school zone, so <laughs> how was he meant to know? Fair. Yeah, exactly. Wait, what? Who even are you? Painted the streets using <laughs> painted the streets using people as meat crayons. No. Hey, how did you get out? Why are you still pinned? Get back down here. Wait, who even are you? Jade, you? Inigo. Cool name, Jade. Can I steal it? What? <laughs> what? Uh, I prefer if no one stole anything. Doinks. Got it. Can I have a doink then? If, if I can't have your name? Yeah, of course. What do you want? What do you have? Uh, everything. What do you need most right now? Something that'll make me swift and agile. Like a slippery worm. Can't risk getting caught, after all. What? What? Worms can be slippery. That wasn't... Never mind. I'm too drunk for this shite. <laughs> a slippery worm coming up. Yeah, it will help. You're right. Alright, slippery worm. Whoops. There we go. Alright, one of you. And one of you. Mm, that word, mm, lovely. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no worms, but perhaps it'll still suit your tastes. Oh, well, this is great, even amazing. Where did you learn this craft? In the primordial vortex? Don't look at me like that. I'm just joking. You aren't from here, are you? Elon be like, meet my kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, say 12. <laughs> Who, me? Who else? Corey. Uh, is that the thing on your shoulder? Bingo. It's short for corruption. Ah. No. I meant you. Well, I'm nowhere, anywhere, and everywhere and all at once. <laughs> I'm coming, you brother. <laughs> uh, but most days, uh, but most of me is from Avalon. Oh, an Avalonian. Native born or by ancestry? Native, duh. Huh, that's interesting. I find it pretty lame, TBH, but uh, there's nothing going on over there. Eh, everyone's the same. Uh, and you think it's different here on Gaia? Yeah, I mean, not really. But I can go anywhere I like. Barely anyone knows me here. Theft, identity fraud. Uh, uh, yep, that word. <laughs> Oh, it's goody goody with me because I can be someone else tomorrow. In Avalon, they all see right through that game very quickly. I see. Changeling then. Yes. Uh, and I say so out of twist. Just kidding. If you tell anyone, I'll come for you. Uh, for not. What happens in the tavern stays in the tavern. Then we're cool. Cool. Well, you got down again. It's fine. You can stay down. You're off timeout. Uh, so what brings you here, Iniko? This and that, you know. Zenith seemed like a cool town with a cool name. Got distracted by a giant hog in your front yard and thought I'd come in and say hi. That would be mine. Cool. I don't do mounts. I'm fast on foot. That way I can admire the landscape, take U-turns through narrow spaces, pickpocket. Yeah, my plan worked. <laughs> uh, and then did you admire the wrecked ruin that was once Zenith? I mean, I love chaos, so... Is it that bad? Do you ever leave this tavern and keep... The city looks like a broken mirror. You bet it does. Looks like a star hit the center of Zenith and... Boom! Yep. Oh. Hey, that's two, baby. But there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> My plan worked completely. Exactly. Someone will fix it. And that someone is not me. Ha! Me neither. Someone could be you. Me? No. Nuh uh. Absolutely not. I don't get involved with these sorts of things, ever. Who am I to fix other people's problems? Are they gonna pay me for it? Not enough, that's for sure. You work for nothing, and in the end, no one thanks you for it. Heroism is an unprofitable art form. If you're lucky, you'll even uh, you'll even get in trouble for destroying someone's property. And that uh, and that after you just fought tooth and nail uh, to save the village from eternal damnation, or something like that. Exactly. Uh, I know Jade's a mercenary, but say, Iniko, are you are you aren't exactly a traditional adventurer either, huh? Uh, no way. Their self-righteousness and self-sacrificial hero complexes ain't my vibe. Uh, I wouldn't say all adventurers are like that. But that's just a game theory. It's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. 
Name one adventurer that didn't die from self-sacrificial tendencies. I knew one, but they perished thanks to hubris. Another classic. Reminds me of the group I met last week in Arova. They were nice, but too nice, you know? I know exactly what you mean. Were they also on their way to investigate the fallen stars? Nah, they were heading somewhere north. Didn't really listen. Didn't care. But I was nice to them, you know. Chomped some rations out of them and they, uh, when they prepared breakfast at their camp. Sat around a campfire drinking tea, munching on bread or bacon. One of them was a wizard, I believe. Fawn, robes, and, uh, and magic type of guy. Kept going on about how Leviathan was sending bad omens to the top of his teacup. Leviathan? Huh. Why him? Dunno. Was he trying to warn you about his sister's demise? His sister? Cassiopeia. Oh, right. Sorry. Mythology isn't really my cup of tea. What is your cup of tea? Fraud. Checks out. Chaotic neutral. Still not evil. Checks out. So, Leviathan warned him via his tea leaves about... The start of something terrible. Tattered wings. T uh, tainting the gilded sea in dark shades of misery. Leaving behind nothing but a shimmer and void. That's exactly what he said. How did you know? I think I've read that somewhere before. Did you also read about the blazing eruption and the foot of the Darwell Hills? No, but I heard about that when I was in Zofort. Thought the Fae were uh, doing one of their quirky rituals again. Wait, so it actually happened? Yep. He also read that from his tea weaves. Whoa, seems like the guy was a real psychic. I guess. Divination magic can be a powerful tool. The tea leaf said the wings shall be torn apart at the feet of Avalon, nestled between the peaks of Darwell. Darwell? So it could... Uh, so it really could be true. What? Sounds like whenever something... What, uh, whatever happened in Darwell was the reason the stars fell from the sky. Tainted, gilded, uh, tainted, gilded sea, shimmer and void, metaphors for a starless sky. If the wizard was right about his tea leaf reading, uh, then that is, uh, that is. But it fits with uh, what I heard in Zofort. Sorry, his fucking leg twitching is throwing me off. Which my like his ADHD is making my ADHD go, and it's just it's it's not a good combination. <laughs> Happened just a few days ago. Oh. Uh, that's how you're connecting it all. Alright, we got a whole quest here. How else? No idea. I thought he was just babbling. Ah, with everything that's been happening recently, I think he might have been on to something. Uh, odd that the adventurers didn't try to stop it from happening. Perhaps no one would pay them for it. Or the job, the other job paid better. Maybe they didn't want to be held responsible for uh, any repercussions. Maybe they realized they can't save everybody. Maybe they were just pretending to be adventurers. Maybe they were the cause of all this, and they were just bragging about it, thinking I'd stop them, lol. <sighs> Enough with your maybes. They're pointless and aren't helping anyone. I'm getting a headache. I'll go for some. I'll go get some fresh air. So long, Inkeep. Merry hunting, Jade. Now it's just you and me, Inkeeper. Indeed, Inniko. But not for long. I'm getting bored and I'm broke. So you're going to. Look around town. Show me some people don't need their shiny things anymore. Hmm. Good luck finding something, uh, someone to, to help that definitely isn't me. So far, I haven't been disappointed by the others. You know, you know how to never get, never ever get disappointed. How? 
Never have expectations. Duh. Could have figured that one out. All right, let's do it. Uh, Psychic wizard foretold the Tsar falling from the teacup. Apparently, it's a just a fragment of the calamity that can be traced back to Dalwell. See, this is in shambles at the Star Inn last night. The crater left in the city, a carved through the destruction, rippled through their town. A spectacle last night left a mark on so not everyone. Okay, let's write up that quest. <clears throat> twinkle, twinkle, deadly stars. Uh, the beautiful let yet disastrous star fall left zenith in shambles the city uh and surrounding farmlands are destroyed and have and, and some people are left homeless a mere meteor shower wouldn't leave an entire night sky empty uh so what exactly happened is it the harbinger of something more ominous yet to come whatever it may be it's said that a fragment of this calamity can be tracked back to uh, dalwell uh, an island uh, in the south of Fisoa. Okay. Yeah, I guess the world is ending. Honestly. It's just, it's done. Hey, we don't allow links here, but thanks for trying. Sorry, guys fell over. <laughs> nice. Good one. We'll do one more day. Oh, you're back. In keep. Rare. Does it grip? Uh oh. You've got any new lines for me? Perhaps. Uh, but I'll only trade uh, new ones. I'll only trade them for new ones of your own. Oh, it is a woman. You're right. That's a woman. Right here. She here. What's your point? Dwarves are gruff. Make me a drink. I had a long night. Uh, Want to tell me about that? No. I get it. You need some stamina first. Why do you need some defense to ward off your questions? I'll go check if I serve that. Do I get to pick? Is it one or the other? No, it's defense. Damn. More defense, huh? Which one? That does defense, right? Plunk. Got a couple of these. Plunk. Plunk. Okay, stop. Nope, too much. No, okay. Fuck's sake. Alright. Get in there. Yes, they are a bot. Yeah. Uh, and then I need one Riz. Is that not a Frosted Lagoon? Yeah, that's right. It's a Warforged. Hell yeah, dude. A Warforged stumbled in my tavern? Speaking in binary? Uh, some defense to keep your favorite innkeeper at bay. Who says you're my favorite? Uh, I might be after this drink. Fair enough. You're climbing up there. I'm very happy to hear that. Now, I've got a question for you. You think you can handle that? I'll try my best, Miss Fro Mrs. Frostgrip. Miss. My bad. Miss Frostgrip. I just thought since you were such a... <laughs> I just think since you're such a catch. Keep it to yourself. All right. Kyle here. I was looking for him around town, but not a single lad or lassie has seen him. Though well, maybe he got crushed by a fallen star. 
Worried? No. I see. I think you should be waking up uh, right about now. Rare. There he is. Oh, I missed you so terribly. I thought you died, or worse, abandoned me. I thought that terrible, uh, I thought the terrible fathoms of time had taken a new friend from me yet again. I'm fine. Are you sure? Aye. Can you see her too, Inkeep? Yes, very much so. By the dragons, so she's not a dream nor a fragment of the past. I'm very happy you're not dead, Rhea. Thanks. Uh, would you like to see the gift I bought you? Gift? When I was at the market all by myself, missing you terribly, I found these gorgeous earrings that reminded me of you. Ah, I'll help you put them on. Wait. <laughs> Are those sons? Yes, because our friendship, because your friendship lights up my undead life. <laughs> is that uh, is that binary you talking to the bot? What do you think? I like them. They match my other jewelry, and uh, and the craftsmanship is decent. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> We're losing him to the warforged. Uh, you mentioned you like leverback clasps. I do like them. When did I say that? Not sure. At some point. Or maybe I dreamed it. That is very likely. Speaking of dreams, I had the strangest dream about the stars falling down the other day. They crashed into Gaia like rain of fire. Or some beautiful fireworks. Uh, they must have been... There, there must have been something wrong with my drink. Anyhow, Rhea, where did your slime go? It was washed away by the falling stars. The rain of falling stars. Oh. So the empty night sky wasn't a dream? No. Nope. Guess Cassiopeia couldn't carry it, all or, uh, carry it all anymore or something. Incredible. So it, was one, it wasn't one of your strange drinks, Inkeep. Does that mean I can drink another one without visions of without a vision of falling firmaments again? Worth a try. Then I would like to try preferably something that makes me strong enough to lift a star. Just in case I would like to. I'll see what I can do. Well, that's just the drink you've been getting. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's add that. Come on, do it. Do the noise. Make the noise. There we go. M1 Riz. Uh, here, my best attempt at supporting your star-lifting career. Oh, this is delicious. Do you think a molten star would taste like this? No. Perhaps. Uh, so what do you think about the, uh, what do you two think about the star rain? It was very bothersome. I had to look for shelter on my way back from the Rockwell of Cliffs. They better hurry and clean it all up. Uh, you've got somewhere to be? I still have to get the vampire of Beruvia before... Uh, I still have to get... Yeah, the vampire to Beruvia before I can get my hands on that gold. Who? You. Oh, splendid. I haven't been in Beruvia in, some in quite some time. Cannot wait to see it again. But until then, I can search for other materials. Better ones, even. That isn't gonna happen by sitting around. Are you collecting loot for your dr uh, for your dragon horde? What? No. 
In what world do I look like a dragon to you? They are masters of disguise. What about you, Inkeep? Uh, am I a dragon? <laughs> we are legion, we are one. No. He's gone. From the moment understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. No, he's gone. He's a robot. He's he's part of the. He's a warforge now. Uh, no, I'm afraid I'm not a dragon. But you smell so primordial. Thank you. If you're not a dragon, Rhea, uh, if you're not a dragon, Rhea, what do you need materials for? Decorations? Ingredients? Don't you worry. I'm not trying to steal business uh, away from you. They're for crafting. Oh, was that me that was asking? Oh, if you're, if you're not a dragon, Rhea, sorry. I was making fun of the vampire. He's real sad about it. All your base are belong to us. <laughs> They're for crafting. Like for friendship bracelets? No, for weapons. You're going to war? But I just got you back. I'm not going to war. You won't see me fighting for anyone but myself. Are you a blacksmith then? I am. And I'm looking for the right material to smash... Uh, Right material to smash the next ore heart competition. I'm gonna travel all the way to the caves uh, of Yur for that one. So far, can I come with you? It sounds very exciting. I hope you'll come back to show off the creation once you're done. I'll think about it. How are you feeling about the, uh, about the stars? How are you feeling about the stars having relocated, Kyle? It's fascinating. You think so? Yes. Now, now that I know it was not a dream, the implications are dazzling. Yesterday, when I found, uh, when I was looking out into the night, I could see nothing but darkness. But then I started at the, uh, I stared at the sedating nothingness. I, uh, I could see. An astral hair, an astral hairfish hopping across the sky. Its sparkling tail left a gleam of light in its wake. It was followed by more of its kind, like a pack hiding, uh, finding a place to rest for the impeding, impending sunrise. I think, therefore, I am. Okay, okay, okay. With the light of the stars blinding me, I would have never been able to see such a spectacle. Uh, and you still thought you were dreaming? I thought the stars had gone in, into just gone into hiding. We all do that sometimes. I would love to know what they're doing on Earth. They must be enjoying the new atmosphere. Possibly. <laughs> Speaking of exciting... Uh, you, have you had a chance to take a peek at that letter of yours, innkeeper? I'm afraid not. <laughs> you femboy vampire. He's not a femboy. He's just a very, like, flamboyant vampire. Either way, how exciting. You know, this world would never see, this world never ceases to amaze me with its natural wonders. Oh, hey. You're taking the quest, huh? Those are the same. Th yeah, all right. This was by no means a natural wonder. Welcome back, Miss Anwar. Who are you, the Wonder Police? I'm Alethea Anwar, High Cleric of the Aperture, and those and the chosen of Our Lady of the Endless Light. And I return to this establishment. To investigate the tragedy of the Starfall. Not one of those protagonist types. 
Innkeeper, I am happy to see that you are able to collect more information for my research. <clears throat> I am grateful for the help you are trying, uh, for your help in these trying times. At your service, miss. What are these times trying? Me, and wonderful people of Astaria. An empty night sky is no laughing matter. This must be taken care of swiftly. I guess, uh, I guess it's empty every time. Uh, I guess it's empty every time of the day now, actually. How does that not worry anyone? We have other things to worry about. And if these sorts of things stopped happening, this babbler would be out of a job. Indeed. I'm EP. Alright, have a good night, Dread. You you go EP. You go EP. I find it very exciting. That is that is somehow even more worrying. See you next stream. Yeah, I will be streaming on Monday. Uh probably earlier than I was today. Uh, say, are you a vampire? What else would he be? I am indeed. That is also very exciting. Do you have any affiliation with the Morrow Castle? What is a... What is a castle? Why are you asking? While... While I was seeking shelter from the Calamity, I came across a young Echo with a gloomy temperament. Or rather, I came across his hands in my pockets, attempting to steal my most precious spell components. Luckily for him, I am not a very vengeful person, and I believe in the uh, redemptive power of second chances. Uh, hang on, I just want to take a look at this. There's... All right, okay, that's fine. I just, this looks new to me. Uh, and an effort, and uh, and in effort, he did make an effort not to steal from me again. Very wise. Did he travel with you? No. We went our separate ways. I believe he wanted to be alone after narrowly escaping an encounter with a horrid vampire. Horrid vampire? They must have been very hungry. As they tend to be. Only if they're not eating responsibly. Who did you say you encountered again, Mrs. Alethea? A roguish wi wind echo? Ah, yes. A windy aftertaste is hard to resist, and primordial blood is a delicious luxury. Speaking of which, Innkeep, no. Are you from the. <clears throat> Are you from the primordial say? Not in the slightest, but my blood would taste delicious if I was willing to share it. I say. What about your blood, Mrs. Alethea? Are you out of your mind pro propositioning a holy woman for her blood? Well, I've uh, you've got a lot for it. Fair question. Well, you've got a lot of it. Fair question. There we go. And yet I need, and I need to keep all of it to keep up my strength against the looming evils of this world. Without me, who would even care enough to investigate this whole mess? After all, none of you seem to care. Besides, the taste, a taste of my blood would probably reduce you to ashes. I like your unwavering sense of self-importance. Thank you. I like your earrings. Thanks. Uh, so, what are your next steps? <clears throat> That's me. So, what are your next steps for saving us? For saving us citizens? Well, rumors... Uh, well, your rumors are all over the place, which is good. That means there are, uh, there's a lot to look into. Still, uh, I would have appreciated a bit more organization. My bad. I will start my investigation in Zenith and Themis... Uh, have a closer look at the wreckage used. Maybe examine the rubble more closely. Perhaps it harbors hidden clues. Once I have f found out what is going on, I will put a stop to it. The stars have already fallen, lassie. 
not a lot you can do for him. Well, well, then I will make sure nothing like this can ever happen again. Perhaps Cassiopeia will even be healed. It is imperative that the order of this world, uh, that she herself does not fall. Couldn't agree more. Uh, I know uh, you've got this under control, Miss Anwar, but how would you feel about a little drink to boost your spirits? Uh, you've got a long investigation. <clears throat> Sorry, you've got a long investigation ahead of you. After all, if you're offering, thanks kindly. What can I get you? It depends on the approach I decide to take with this. I could focus on the investigative aspect, really dig my heels into connecting the threads, analyze the situation, find hidden clues, speak to the locals uh, and those affected. Of course, I would have to do so strategically with. Uh, without the right approach, this plan would fall apart. And perhaps uh, I would even need to inspire bravery in others uh, to care about my cause. On the other hand, who knows who caused this? If I focus too much on uh, on theory, I might I may not be in the right condition to fight whomever I encounter. But you will be able to talk to them. That's always much more entertaining. Not everyone can be reasoned with. In such a case, I should uh, be able to properly defend myself, especially if something similar should threaten to occur again. I need to be prepared for uh, even the worst case scenario. I could offer you some Phoenix chilies. Uh, who knows what you encounter, but burning stairs, uh, but burning stars are best avoided with a hint of fire resistance. Sounds reasonable. So either it's the right balance of intelligence and inspiration, or the ultimate fireproof self-defense. I'm not yet certain which path I should walk. You should trust the innkeeper with it. He always has the most wonderful solutions. Just this once I shall. I'll make sure not to disappoint. Alright. Okay, either infusion... Hmm... Either knowledge or defense. Hmm. I'm thinking... I'm thinking more... More along the knowledge one. She can re... Like... Knowledge would figure it out. Like, fighting would be great, but I doubt she's gonna end up fighting anything in town. However, the fire resistance is a good idea. But I'm thinking knowledge. I'm thinking to go with more knowledge. Yeah, we're going to go with knowledge and Riz, I think. Yeah. Um, and... This gives me what I have got. I've got something for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Knowledge. And some Riz. Alright, let's go. Okay. Good luck. I'm sorry. Um, I think perhaps the strategic way is the best way to approach. After all, you wish to help people, not fight them. That is very true. This is an excellent drink. I'm already coming up with a 38-step plan. Perhaps we should start with the more... Uh, I should Perhaps we should start at the nearby Gaia Temple. I heard it was un... Uh, it was unfortunately an impact site. The local acolytes will be sure to offer assistance. That sounds like an excellent idea. Thank you for your effort in helping this world, Innkeeper. Always happy to be of service. Say, Miss Holy Spirit, those fallen stars, are they still intact? They crashed into the ground, so no, they are not intact. Were they pulverized? 
not fully, no. Would you say that falling stars make for an interesting type of material? For what? Yes! They would certainly be rare. Hmm. Need any help on that holy mission of yours? I know a thing or two about rocks and the like. Uh, could give you some insights on those impact conditions. I can't say that I can't say that I'm an expert in geology, though I feel like I could make an educated guess. Nevertheless, sure, I would very much appreciate your assistance. Great, then I'm in. Me too. Do you do you know about geology as well, or astronomy perhaps? I know about astrology. And this sounds all so very exciting. I've been terribly bored waiting for Ray to come back. This will greatly aid me on the mission for curing my boredom. Well, I do like to help. That is very kind of you. I know. You don't have to come along. Of course I do. Could you imagine if the stars fell down again? What if one crushed you? I need to stay close by so I can catch it. I don't think he could. The stars already fell, Kyle. Done deal. What about the ones in the primordial sea? What if it floods us uh, all with its mirrored stars? Unlikely. I'm not willing to take that risk. Uh, I'm going to this adventure with you. I'm going on this adventure with you. And with you, Mrs. Alethea. Great. Wonderful. <clears throat> Wonderful. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Let us not waste any more time. Thank you for your aid and keep. I shall return with the conclusions and perhaps even amended firmaments. Looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing of your heroic deeds. How exciting. Wish me luck. Yeah, well, good luck. I hope you find suitable material. Me too. Alright. Oh, hello. 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 I would like your finest drink, please. Uh, a drink, you say? What do you have in mind, Miss... Melina? But Melly's fine. It's short for Melina. I see. Well then, Melly, what kind of drink would you like? Something tasty. Something that would give me fun ideas. Oh, and uh, some thunder sage. I don't have any money, but if I've got something to buy, but I've got something to barter for a drink. You don't need to pet. But I want to. It doesn't feel right otherwise. All right, fine with me. What do you have for me? Oh, a golden feather. Golden feathers increase. Oh! Oh, Dread went to bed. Oh, no. It gives you haste, Dread. I know you're not here, but. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. Now I can accept the doink. Very well. Let me see what I can do. Something thought-provoking with, you wanted the, the tea, right? Yeah. Whoops. Hello? Okay, there we go. All right, some more knowledge, just one. And two charisma. So sparkly, right, Andu? Oh, what? What was that for? What was that for? What is that for? Is he sparkly? Okay. Sure. Some new fun idea. Some new fun and sweet ideas coming right up. This is perfect. I, I'm i already feeling the energy for new hijinks running through my veins. Thank you. This is a really nice tavern. I think I'm going to hang out here for a bit. I need a break from my investigations. 
Can I pet your familiar? No, he's quite antsy and he hasn't been fed. I'd worry for your hands. Okay. <gasps> he's back. Oh, Zephyr. Almost didn't see you there. I suppose I'm as stealthy as a knight. No, uh, as the knight. I meant the knight. Sounds like you need a drink. Desperately. One that will make me remember words. I've been quiet for so many hours, I think I've forgotten how to speak. That explains why we're communicating telepathically right now. We are? No. Who the hell are you? Was I too stealthy for you? No. Let's get you a drink so you can stop cursing at the child. Detective, stop cursing at the detective. Right. Sorry, of course. Thought my drinks, uh, though my drinks don't come cheap. Oh, <gasps> right. Right. I'll trade you. Oh, for one trinket. Ah, uh, one of those. One of those. What if I didn't find one? Are you trying to tell me you made it all the way through the castle without stealing a single thing? <laughs> Got a clock. Here. Oh. Well, my tavern, uh, my tavern tells me it thinks it's beautiful. But it is wondering where it might be. Or what it might be. Thought I thought I was smarter than that. Do you? Does your tavern want to guess what it is? Uh, it is a frying pan. You're not even remotely close. But he is right. The part looks like a handle. Or that part looks like a handle. That's the pendulum. Do you think if you fry eggs in that pan, they would? Uh, they would take a bat-like shape? I really doubt it. It's a wall clock adorned with hungry bats. One creature of the night telling time to another. Ah, a very inaccurate work. Uh, wall clock, it seems. It's nowhere near midnight. Or inaccurate. <clears throat> it's hands seem to have gotten stuck right before midnight. For an eternity. Or at least since I found it. With this duo, I have to pull another heist. This will do just fine. Good. And because I'm someone that always keeps, uh, that always keeps him promises. His promises. Uh, I will not. I shall now prepare a drink for you. One moment. Let's see if I can, uh, if I have something that will make you more polite towards local detectives the new drink finally let's use that boy let's get that one do we got do i have anything for riz i mean technically this gives me everything i need for that and it's all riz after that right almost all riz a little bit of swiftness Sunny breeze. There we go. There you go. <clears throat> There's a butterfly on it. Politely, a drink. Did I accentuate the right notes? Sure did. You should consider becoming a musician. I'm happy where I'm at now. Thanks. Now, will you be po more polite to and tell me what happened? No. Why not? I don't even know who you are. I'm Melina, but you can call me Melly. No, thanks. So, what else did you steal? Castles have many things, I've heard. Nothing. Shouldn't you be at school? I don't go to school. I'm already smart enough. Do your parents agree with that? My parents are dead. And I didn't come back as ghost to tell me to go to school. So it can't be that important. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Melly. It's okay. 
It's already been this many years since they died. Just kidding, I can count. It's been seven. So I was only f three when they disappeared forever. I don't remember a lot about them. But I already solved their murder. It's okay. Did you avenge them? No, they got eaten by zombies, and zombies got eaten by a T-Rex. Not uh, a lot left to avenge. That makes sense. It does, a classic adventurer's tale. Right? I basically speed ran my origin story. <laughs> yeah, dude, you definitely did. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I've got dead parents as my motivation and the detective career to make sure I can help other people. Because people didn't help you? Exactly. But it's okay. It made me uh, into the adventure I am today. And I like who I am. Does it make you sad? Or, <clears throat> sorry, I was making fun of you. Doesn't it make you sad? No! One second, sorry. No. What's your origin story? Yes, Zephyr. What is your origin story? Uh, it is far too dark for a young mind to handle. For your young mind to handle. Best you don't know. Okay, what's your name? Blaze. But he just called you Zephyr. That's my middle name. Okay, I'll respect your fake name, but only uh, if you tell me what castle you stole the innkeeper a clock from. Fine. It was Marrow Castle. I was on a dangerous quest to steal a precious cape from a murderous vampire. Did she kill you? Obviously not. No, not so murderous then. She would have if she caught me. So she didn't? No, I managed to complete the mission undetected. Thanks to the invisibility that took hold of my body, I was able to uh, avoid the cohort of monsters she had put in my path. Only the dragons know. Uh, what would have happened if they had spotted me, weak, and not prepared to fight? But they didn't. But they didn't. Even if the living gargoyle, even the living gargoyles with their lithic claws at her doors did not sense my presence. I waited until they were mid-argument to sneak through a nearby window they had left open to giant, uh, to grant spiders easy access to the castle. I heard Marrow Castle is very scary. Was it very scary? Yes. On a scale from one to my parents being eaten by a T-Rex, how scary was it? In the middle, I suppose. Hmm, interesting. Did you run into any traps? I was able to spot and avoid them all thanks to my remarkable perceptive gifts and your help. Anyway, I found the cape in her closet, hung up between ball gowns covered in rubies and diamonds. Did you take any? Maybe. So you're a thief? Obviously. Can you teach me how to be a better thief? I want to expand my portfolio. Why would I do that? Because I asked nicely? Forget it. Aw, Melly. I took the cape along with whatever gemstones I could find. When I heard her approaching her chambers, quickly I hid among the dressing gowns, holding my breath to avoid making any sound. I thought I had <clears throat> I thought I had made it through when suddenly she opened the closet doors. I was pressed so close to the wall that I thought the wood would start vibrating in rhythm with my heartbeat. But she reached right past me, picked out a hat, and returned to her dastardly vamp vampiric activities. What are vampiric activities? I don't know. Sucking blood, turning into bats, scheming about blood. Lots of blood stuff, it sounds like. In indeed. Uh, do you make it... 
Did you make it out of there easily, Blaze? I found a secret passageway that led below the pond, through the earth, uh, and, the, and to the summit of the Witch's Peak. Almost scared this strange cleric to death when I regained my visibility. She was ready to ignite me with her golden flames. It seems harsh for just a little jump scare. Are you sure your fingers stayed in your pockets? Who can say? Speaking of sleight of hand, uh, where did you find that clock? It was sitting in a display case in the middle of the hallway that stretched on forever. Uh, then how did you know it was in the middle? I could feel it. The case was locked, but my expertise was able to crack it open in no time. The antique clock stood right between a, uh, between a ritualistic dagger and a vial of blood. And I thought it was str I thought it strange that it was the only item without a tag, so I took it. A tag? She's very organized, labels everything. Why would you display a vial of blood? Shouldn't that be in her pantry? The label describes it, describes it as blood from the very first vampire, Mike. Mike? Mike. Judging by its position next to a such a priceless item the clock must must be worth a fortune in that case thank you again it will look great in my tavern indeed it sounds like you uh you have been it sounds like you have been in a lot of trouble if you were caught but i wasn't thanks to the innkeeper's drink i not only survived but also avoided the horror's wrath entirely sounds like a tasty drink I would hope so. Uh, it seems like the quest was completed successfully. Thank you, Blaze. You did a good job. I'm lucky I survived once more. It's a miracle I made it past so many monstrous creatures without being harmed. Did you think you might die when you took the quest, I mean? It's always a possibility. Then why would you go? Death is inevitable. Such is life. Hmm. At least you have your cape now. It's not mine. It belongs to another vampire. Another vampire? Yes. It was stolen from him in a lover's quarrel. The clutches of love always end in, cru in cruel tragedy. But then comedy. Uh, but the comedy it takes to get there is worth a nice ride. Is worth the ride. Only for those willing to suffer. Aren't we all? Speaking of suffering, I'm sure Kyle, that's the long-suffering, uh, very comedic vampire Melly, would love to have his cape back. Could I extend the quest to include a speedy delivery? After the day I've had? You've done enough hiding for one day, don't you think? Professional hiding. Fine. I'll, I'll do a direct delivery, just this once. Where can I find this Kyle? Uh, last I saw him, he was with Rhea and a, uh, to aid a certain cleric with her investigations. I'm sure you'll recognize her. Not her again. Where are they? Uh, uncertain. Try looking around the zenith. They can't have gotten far yet. What are they investigating? The star rain, as far as we know, as far as I know. That's what I was investigating. We should go talk to them. We can exchange notes. I already drew a map of all the impact sites in Zenith. Maybe they can uh, help extend it further or find the culprit of this curious incident. Come on, Blaze. We have to go find them for your cape and my notes. Uh, love, I love the art for Melly. It's great. I'm going alone. I'm going alone. You do whatever. Uh, with you along, I could never stay undetected. Wait for me! See you soon, Innkeeper! See you soon, Melly. Oh. Well, let's do a little save. 
Save over Act 1. I'll go back to the main menu because that's that's good enough for for today's stream. Well, thanks for uh, for joining me. Uh, anyone who did, Dread, I know you were here, so thank you. Um, or a bunch of other people actually, but yeah, thanks. Uh, Sriracha Ghost, Jeff was here for a little while. I saw Robin as well. Um, so thank you for joining me, and uh, I'm going to be streaming on Monday. Um, this week, this coming, this coming Monday, it will be, uh, the, the, uh, the first, right? Monday the first. Um, and, uh, yeah, I usually stream every Sunday, this Sunday, tomorrow, I will not be streaming, uh, due to some family stuff. Um, you know, um, nothing bad, just family gathering. Um. And, uh, yeah, I, I stream when I can, and I stream every, I, I'm trying to stream every Sunday, and, um, yeah, don't forget to join my Discord, there's a link to it on the channel page, as well as in the About section, um, if you join that, you'll get updates on whenever I'm streaming, or if streams are being moved, or postponed, or cancelled, or whatever, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, don't forget to sub to me on YouTube and stuff. Anyway, bye-bye, uh, and thanks for stopping by.